All right, guys. So uh, this is the front MP uh, disc brake kit that I got. Uh, it's for a ball joint uh, four by one thirty um, lug nut spacing. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of this box. Um, so basically, it comes with directions on how to install it. Okay where to put your uh, spacers and uh, it'll tell you how to put your seals in as well um, so this kit comes with uh, of course the disc brakes it comes with the calipers it comes with the new uh, bearings for your uh, your disc brake okay and then it comes with a uh, rubber seal for those bearings okay it also comes with some mounting to mount um, the caliper now these calipers are universal so they are left and right it allows you to be able to drain them from top or bottom of the caliper it does not come with um, hoses I got these made um, I recommend probably going with two inch longer hoses than what your stock is um, you can go stock length that's fine you just have to make sure your your adjusters are adjusted correctly now um, um, these uh, discs do not come red I've painted those red uh, just to get a little color underneath there. So uh, let's get going uh, on this first thing we're gonna this need guy. to do is of course get the vehicle jacked up off to the ground. Take the wheels off. Oh, a little dark over here. Now we got some lighting on this. Uh, basically what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to take this cap off. You're gonna need to get to the the uh, throttle or excuse me speedometer cable remove that from this cap um, on the inside it's pretty easy to do you'll see what needs to happen um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off so we're gonna just that go and let that drain uh, while we're doing that we're gonna go ahead and pop off this cap okay I pried it off already that lip and just pry it off um, they're not held on very tight um, once you get a broken a little bit they should just come right off so we're gonna go just set all right guys so one thing to note when you're uh, taking this bolt off or this nut excuse me uh, the driver's side is reverse thread than the passenger side the reason for that is because when you're driving forward you want the nut to be tightening not loosening so in any case you get that uh, set screw out and go ahead and start turning it back. All right, so once you have that nut off, this whole assembly will literally just slide off. Um, when you pull it off, you're gonna want to save your uh, washer and that nut. So when you go to do the new install of the new brake system, you got uh, those for the new system. So we're gonna be removing the brake line first. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, 14 millimeter wrench to get that that bolt off or that excuse me that fitting off when you pull that off you're going to want to have a uh, some sort of uh, catch basin underneath it bucket whatever just to catch your oil shouldn't be a lot of it um, I think in the whole system there's probably less than a quart um, so maybe a quart pushing a quart so anyways uh, go ahead and pull that off now you can be the lazy man and cut this since you are going to be replacing it but I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove this thing drain it and then uh, remove it from the other side as well we'll do it from uh, both sides of the front end all right guys so now I'm going to be putting the uh, bearings into the rotors um, or excuse me the discs um, so basically you're going to need to take these bearings and pack them full of uh, grease. Um, so uh, these are high temp wheel bearing uh, uh, grease that I'm going to be using. Um, so just basically you'll put some on the palm of your hand. Don't forget to put gloves on of course. And then you're just going to um, basically work the grease into the these bearings nice and tight. Uh, make sure it flows out and um, and then you're going to press the uh, rings into both the inside and outside of these uh, uh, discs. So let me go ahead and uh, get going on those. 
Um, we're going to go and press the rings in with uh, a 39.5 uh, millimeter uh, press and then also a 50 millimeter press. And when all said and done, you're going to put this uh, um, dust cover. Um, I believe it goes on the inside. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the, those things and start. Right, so you're going to reuse the washer that was on the front end and the nut that was on the front end originally. Okay, go ahead and take a little bit of grease and just grease up this uh, spindle. Doesn't have to be too much, but just enough so uh, the bearings will slide on nice and smooth. Okay, now it's going to be the same on both sides. So I'll just show you on the driver's side. You're just going to basically. So that front bearing wants to pop out. Um, so I'm going to have to put the phone down here for a minute. Okay, so. Let me get a light on this, you'll see a little bit more. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's seated all the way back. You'll feel it hit the back of the spindle and then just seat this front bearing, okay? Don't worry about all the grease just yet. That doesn't hurt to leave it in there, okay? And then now remember, uh, driver's side is left-handed threads. And the passenger side is right-handed threads. So we're just going to go ahead and tighten this down. All right, guys. So we're going to be putting the calipers on to the rotors right now. Um, there are two... Uh, let's see if we can get that angle there. These two uh, uh, threaded holes are what we're going to mount the caliper to. Okay. So you're going to feed the bolt through these holes here. Okay. And in some cases, you can get away with just mounting um, this uh, edge directly to the spindle, okay? But in my case, um, in order to get the rotor to spin centered on this gap here, I'm going to need to use some washers, okay? And they're provided in the kit. And uh, there's two different thicknesses uh, just to kind of get you somewhat shimmed over centered into this opening um, it's hard to really tell I don't know if you can see the difference in those two it's really hard to tell but there is a difference in the the thickness on those two um, any case I just chose the first set that looked like it would work put it on test fit it and see if it centers up and then uh, We'll go from there and see how see what the gap is on the both outside and inside on this this uh, groove here. Okay, so let's get this thing mounted. So it actually looks like I don't need the washers in there. You can see the gap on the inside and the gap on the outside. The inside's a little wider, so if I take those washers out, it'll actually side shift the rotor to the left and center it more in that opening. So I think I'm going to take those. Uh, washers out and, and just uh, tighten it out that way.